Hello serverless people, welcome to another video and this one I'm going to show you how to secure your API gateway endpoints with Cognito user pools. In previous video we've seen how to secure API gateway endpoints with a custom authorizer. I use Elf0 which is an external provider. In this one I'm going to use uh, Cognito. So we're going to deploy a stack with uh, an API gateway, a Lambda function, and the uh, Cognito authorizer linked to the API gateway endpoint, but also a front-end application with React, and I'm going to show you how to configure this authorization on the uh, front-end application, so on the React application using uh, Amplify.js version 6, so the latest one as per January 2024. All right, so let's have a look at the architecture now. Um, as I said, I'm going to use Amazon Cognito for the uh, authentication. So the first thing that the user has to do is to, in this case, I'm using the hosted UI. So I'm using the OAuth flow and the user is going to uh, open a link which is host by Amazon Cognito when he's gonna put his credential, email and password, so step one, uh, again, open the um, hosted UI, then log in, and it's going to get the um, user pool access token. With this access token, it's going to pass the access token as a header of the request to the API gateway. I'm going to show you all of this uh, at code level, just in a second. So as a user, I am sending the JWT on the header the API gateway is reading this header and is verified it is verifying the token with the uh, Cognito user pool. If the verification is successful, you're gonna get the response. Otherwise, it's going to uh, give you back 401 unauthorized. All right. So, uh, as I said before, we're gonna have a backend with API gateway and the Cognito user pool, and then the front end is going to be a React application showing you how to call the API, how to do the login, and how to add the JWT to the request. So with this in mind, let's move to the code. Okay, here's the code backend and client side. Uh, obviously, I'm going to push this on my GitHub repo. You can see on the description of the video. And if we go to the backend, in this case, I'm using a CDK to deploy uh, the services. So if we go on the uh, CDK stack, let me uh, zoom in. So I can delete this. Um, what I'm doing is basically, um, again, let's keep in mind the architecture that we've seen before. So here, uh, I'm creating a Lambda function, which is a simple like, hello, this is the Lambda function, just to be sure that we uh, are able to call it. And then I'm creating the uh, API gateway. The API gateway has, you know, just the uh, API name and then here I'm configuring a course just because I'm calling from localhost. And then here is the important bit. So in order to, to tell API gateway use uh, Cognito user pool for the authentication, I need first to create the user pool in here. So in this case, I'm using an already an existing user pool. And then I'm going to show you later on the AWS console. So you create the user pool, you can also create it from scratch, and then you um, add the Cognito user pool on the uh, Cognito user pool's authorizer. So you create an authorizer object. Then with this authorizer object, you add it on the method you want to add authentication. So in this case, I'm creating a, a get request, and then I'm going to do add method get authorizer authorizer, which is this one and authorization type uh, Cognito, okay? If I deploy this uh, stack, it's going to create um, these resources on the uh, on the AWS console. So this is my uh, API gateway. Uh, I go on the get request, which is the only one that I configure for now. And the important bit is this one, method request, authorization, the uh, Cognito authorizer. So if I go in here, we can see uh, the Cognito user pool is configured. And if I go on here on the Cognito service, we will see uh, the uh, Cognito user pool, which is configured. So it's this one, this is the ID E3U, and you will see the same thing in here, E3U, final E3U, okay. So in this, in this way, we are telling API Gateway 
uh, please use uh, Cognito user pool to authenticate the request. Then obviously, if you go on the um, integration request, we have uh, our Lambda function. So as I said, the Lambda function is a simple uh, hello from a secure API gateway custom authorizer. Well, here can be, should be Cognito authorizer. Very simple API gateway Lambda function and the authorizer with Cognito. Now, how we want to test this, obviously we want to test it with, uh, you know, a front-end application. In this case, I'm using uh, React. So here on my uh, client folder, I have um, the React application. And the important bit is in here. So on the app.js, I'm configuring uh, AMP Amplify. Okay, so Amplify is a, a service from AWS to handle, you know, um, front-end application and to do all the configurations for services services such as REST API, Cognito, whatever you need to, to use with Amplify. So the first thing we need to tell um, Amplify is the uh, configuration of Cognito. So here I'm passing, you know, user pool ID, user pool client ID. So keep in mind that user pool ID is... Um, is this ID, user pool ID, and the other one, the user pool client ID, is your Cognito app integration. And you can find it in here, it's a bit um, hidden, I will say. So you go into your user pool, you go on app integration, and then is basically this one in here, this client ID, this value here. You put it here as a name variable, then region, and then you configure your, um, in this case, I'm using a hosted UI uh, from Cognito again. So I'm, I'm configuring the OAuth domain, which is uh, the Cognito domain, and the Red Red, which is basically, you know, localhost, localhost. Obviously, keep in mind that this value needs to match the one that I'm configuring here. So if you go on my app, um, you will see that, you know, uh, the configure callbacks URL as this one. Remember that in order to have it work, you need to configure it also on the console. So um, let's get back to the React application. I configure everything. So the uh, Cognito values and also the um, login with OAuth. Next thing we need to tell the React application is right every time you need to call an API you need to add uh, an authentication in this case um, I want to add the authentication as a header authorization header with the JWT which is returned by a Cognito by the Cognito login login how I'm going to do this um, so on the API again on the uh, configure um, amplify configure I'll go API rest uh, I'm calling like this API test API call. I'm configuring the endpoint of my uh, API gateway. So this is the endpoint of my backend basically. And then when I'm calling uh, the API get, so I'm using the get method. And remember this get method, uh, as I said, the code is going to be deployed on GitHub, but this is from uh, the uh, library AWS Amplify slash API. And just for the record, I am using um, Amplify v6. So if you're using version 5, uh, the syntax is a bit different. I'm using the latest one as per January 2024. So let's go back to the um, to the API call indeed. And in here, I'm calling the uh, get method. And as I said, I want to add an authorization header. So on the option of the API, I'm saying headers, authorization token. What is a token? token is basically the uh, JWT, which is returned by Cognito. In order to access the token, you need to call the fetch off session. And again, this is for uh, Amplify version six. And then you call tokens ID token to string. Uh, and this is like the way to add the token to the uh, API call. If everything is uh, working correctly, we should see get call succeed with the result. Uh, in here, I'm using just, you know, some methods to show uh, on the UI if the uh, user is uh, logged in or not. And here are simple like, you know, the sign in, call API and sign out. So with this in mind, let's see the uh, app uh, in, in action. So let's go back to Chrome. 
So here is the React application. Here I'm already logged in. So let's do the logout to start from, to start from scratch. Um, okay, so here, hello, you're not logged in. So now if I call the API, I will expect an error. Indeed, there is an error because if I go in here on the network tab, this is my uh, API gateway URL and you see there is no, uh, the authorization header is undefined because I'm not logged in, obviously. Now, if I log in, so I do sign in here, you see, you see the URL is the hosted UI with the OAuth flow. Here I'm putting my uh, credentials and I'm signing in, sign in, redirect to the page. Hello, you are now logged in as this is just the username uh, or the ID by Cognito. But now I would expect that if I call the API, I should see the message and it, that's uh, exactly what is happening. So hello from a uh, secure API gateway, which is the Lambda function. Uh, responding to my to my client. Why? Because this time the header uh, contains, you see, authorization header contains the JWT from Cognito. So that's great. It's working. Again, if you want to test the sign out, it's going to sign out, redirect to the same page, and then we're going to get the error again. We test what we've seen on the architecture. So the OAuth with the hosted UI, JWT return to the client, client calling the API with JWT and then getting the response from the Lambda function. All right, that was it. We've seen how to configure your API gateway with a Cognito user pool. Now, as I said, the code is available on my GitHub. You can see the link on video description. If the video was useful for you, just press the like button or subscribe to the channel. It really helps me on creating new videos and publish a video every Thursday. Obviously the main topic is serverless, but if you want me to cover other stuff, just, you know, ask me in the comments. And thanks again for watching. We'll see each other on the next video.